I know from first-hand experience that growing pepperoni prostrata can be problematic. Everything's going well until one day it just melts and turns into this. This has happened to me on quite a few occasions and it's incredibly disheartening. But by the end of this video, you're gonna see just how easy it is to propagate it so this will never happen to you again. For top quality plant and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. Peperomia prostrata, or string of turtles, has become one of my most used terrarium plants. I first realised it would perform well in a terrarium when I placed some leftover cuttings in my paludarium, which has humidity levels of between 90 to 100% most of the day. A few weeks passed by and I noticed that the leaves had plumped up and that little white roots had been coming out from the stem. I was a little surprised as I'd half expected the cuttings to fail, not thrive, but after a little reading it's clear to see why they'd work so well. Peperomia prostrata comes from a part of the world that's incredibly humid. The reason why it fails so often as a houseplant is because one, it's grown in a type of soil that is far too moisture retentive, and two, the levels of humidity in a standard home are far too low for it to thrive. Now I'm not saying that it won't grow or even show signs of being healthy, but for it to thrive, it needs to be in conditions that replicate its natural environment. So I mentioned earlier that Peperomia prostrata, or string of turtles, is an epiphyte, but what exactly is an epiphyte? The dictionary definition of an epiphyte is a plant that grows on another plant, especially one that is not parasitic, such as the numerous ferns, bromeliads, air plants and orchids growing on tree trunks in tropical rainforests. The important point to remember here is that an epiphyte grows on the surface of a tree or another plant. Tree bark in humid and wet conditions holds on to moisture that allows any excess to flow through. It's water retentive yet well draining and combined with a humid environment it creates the perfect atmosphere for epiphytes to grow. As much as I'd like to, I can't have an Amazonian tree in my workshop, but what I can do is recreate that moisture retentive yet well draining surface that epiphytes love using lava rock. Lava rock is a porous rock that holds onto water but allows any access to flow through. A little bit like the tree bark, it's often used in bonsai for its water retentive qualities. And that's exactly why I'm going to use it here. It may not be a tree trunk, but it's not a million miles away. And I'll be using grains that are between two and eight millimeters big. If you've ever had issues with pepperoni prostrata, I want to know. Leave me a comment below and tell me what happened. Here's what you're going to need. A clear plastic container with a lid good quality substrate. To see what I use, click the link above. Fine grain lava rock. Spray bottle with water. Peperomia prostrata cuttings. First things first is you need a clear plastic tub with a lid. It's really important that you have a lid, a clear lid, because the light needs to shine through and also the lid traps in the humidity, so that's really important. Try and get a strong box. This I got from just a hardware store, but it's very sturdy. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is put our substrate in. I don't need a lot of substrate, probably about a centimeter or two. Peperomia prostrata doesn't have a, a very big root system, so we don't need lots and lots of substrate for it to root into. And we're gonna have a layer of lava rock on top of that anyway. Right, so that's our centimeter of substrate gone in. Now. So now our substrate's in place, and as I mentioned, I only used about a centimeter. I'm now going to add the lava rock. What I like to do is spread it just in, put it into the middle. And then from there, I'll just use my hands to spread it out a bit. Ideally, I'd like to create sort of around about a centimeter or two on top of the substrate. So we shouldn't really have any substrate showing through. Well, a little bit doesn't matter, we don't need to be so exact. 
right so that's that's in place now I'm going to use my spray bottle on the mist setting maybe slightly off slightly off just to damp this this lava rock now it's time to add the cuttings and as I mentioned I use rootless cuttings and they're going to be of different sizes so this for example is a small one and all I do is I just drape them right on top of the lava rock and this one is a bit larger don't need to be so precious about this you might see the odd leaf die but that's totally normal what I like to do is add some springtails in here so if, if a leaf does die and start to rot then they take care of that however if you don't want to do that then just remove the leaf last one okay there we have it I'm gonna give it one last spray There we have it and you want to keep this under a grow light i use under cabinet warm white leds which are inexpensive and you can purchase them online but it's important they have some light so give it a go it's super easy and i've had great success propagating pepperoni prostrata this way if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to discuss it further you can catch me on instagram live every monday at 3 p.m gmt or you can join my discussion group on Facebook. It's called Terrarium Group and you can put in a request to join. The link is in the description below. If you enjoyed this Peperomia prostrata propagation video, let me know by giving me a like, subscribe and comment with what you liked best about it. I look forward to reading your feedback and I'll see you in the next video.